Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing and welcome to part 10 of our CME CNC Rosak Max V 3.2 build series. If you haven't been following along with the series, I strongly suggest you pause here, go click on the link up there in the corner and go back and browse the previous episodes so that you're caught up on where we're at in the build process. And of course, there is a link to the manual down below in the description so that you can follow along. If you're not familiar with CME CNC's line of deltas at all, there's also links down in the description if you would like to learn more about their wonderful delta printers. So with that said, let's do this. Okay, so at the end of the last episode, part nine, we had finished putting on the belts and finished up with step 34 in the manual. So we're gonna start off with step 35 and we're gonna keep this one really short. And 35 is going to be installing the whip right here. And um, of course the strain relief nut. Those are the only two parts that we're going to need for this. Um, you may want to grab yourself some channel locks and or crescent wrenches or large screwdrivers just to help you tighten up the nut sh should you need that. But without further ado, let's jump over to the other camera so we can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to try to give you a zoomed in view here as much as I can. Now, on your whip, let's see if I can get these in frame here. On this piece, you're going to want to start off by taking off both the, the front for the strain relief side and the nut for the back. Now this is going to end up going up through this hole right here like so, but we're going to wait to do that just for a second. So we're going to set these aside. Now on this side is the strain relief side, so we're going to want to take all of our loose cables here and we're going to want to pass those through slowly through the, the cap that goes there. And the four pin one is going to be the one that's a bit of a challenge, but you want to gently pass that through. Just not all at once, pass the cables through a little bit at a time, like so, and like so. Once you get them all through, we're going to go ahead and pull this all the way up and just let that nut drop all the way down. Now we're going to do the same thing for this side of the strain relief. We're going to start off with the big four pin one here and this is going to be tough to push through. So you just want to gently feed that in and get it through, but you want to be careful that you don't break or pop out any of the wires. You want to get that through the other side. Now once that's through, we can go ahead and start pushing through the other wires. A few at a time. And until we get the entire bundle through. Note it's usually probably easier to get the the ones with the connectors through while you have the least amount of wires in there. And these like the purple and the orange one that purple and the orange are going to be the tougher ones to get through just because it's a single wire. but they will go through. Okay, once those are all through and you have all your wires, we're going to pull this down so that it's over the strain relief like so. And then we're going to let that fall all the way back down. We're gonna go through again and we're going to feed all of the ends of our cables up through this hole.
like so. Let's go ahead and pull that up. And we're going to take that the nut for the top. We're going to have the the flat side of the nut or the side with the little dimples on it down and we're going to slide all the ends through that there as well. That's nice and big so that's easy. And we're going to just let that drop down onto there. And we're going to pull this up and through. Like so, so that we have our other end of our whip. Now, let me go ahead and angle this camera down. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with this whip is you have the Y tower, which is here, right? So you're going to go ahead and touch that Y tower like so. And that's going to set our length. And then we're going to go ahead and slide these nuts all the way back up to the top. And we're going to pop it through. First thing we're going to do once we pop it through is we're going to take that nut that was on the tight the top and we're going to tighten that down like so. Okay, we're going to double check that length. We don't want to have too much length, but we don't want to have enough. I mean, uh, needed to be just right. So we're going to pull that again down to that little bed clamp there. And let's see if we can get the camera angle there. Once we do that, we can set the length of the clamp by tightening this nut of the strain relief up. And this is where I was saying that it might be handy to have um, might be handy to have a couple of wrenches or some pliers because it's difficult to keep that from sliding. So I'm gonna use this top piece or a crescent wrench on the top piece. And then we're going to use the second crescent wrench here and just tighten that up. And hopefully once you get it to a point you don't need to hold the top one anymore. And you know it's tight when all you have to do is get it so that it's just grabbing the cables and that the cable can't pull freely out. And then it's tight enough. Okay, then you can take your leftover part of the whip there. We're just going to coil it up for now. And we're just going to set it out of the way. And that's it for step 10. That actually covered steps, let's see here, 35 through 37. Um, starting in the next video on 38, and the reason I'm keeping this one short, 38 we're going to start doing the wiring. And that could be a bit of a long process trying to show all the details of where everything's going to go. So wanted to keep this one trim and short. So I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you like what we're doing, please be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. If you're out shopping at Amazon or Matter Hackers, please consider using the affiliate links down below in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps to keep the channel running. And a special thanks goes out to CME CNC for providing the Rostock Max V3.2 for this build series. And with that, I bid you aloha and we'll see you in the next one.